We've got a great walk for you today. I'm sure you're going to love it. We've got the, the highest waterfall in the Lake District. We've got three peaks. And we've got, on top of that, we've got haystacks. And don't forget, at the end of the video, we've got all the stats as well for the walk. Plan Watch Walk, the go-to walking channel. We strive to bring you some of the best walking around. We leave Buttermere Village and head north on the western shore of Crummock Water, heading towards Scale Force. The climb now starts as we peak on Red Pike, High Style, our highest elevation at 806 metres. We continue to High Crag before reaching Haystacks, descending through the valley and along the western shore of Buttermere. Buttermere Village dates back to the 11th century. St James Church has a memorial plaque to Alfred Rainwright in the sill of a window with a view over Haystacks, where his ashes are scattered. We're just leaving Buttermere. We've got High Snot Rig just behind us there. And we're following the, the path down. And we're going to be sweeping around. We've got Buttermere Lake the other side of those trees. And we're going to be sweeping around, heading up the valley towards the, the waterfall. Well, we can't really see it, but we've... You can't really see it, but there's Buttermere just below the mountain there. We're coming along the side of Crummock Water, and we are heading on our way up to... Scale Falls. As we can see, As we can see, we're in the Lake District. To be lakes, you need lots of water. And uh, glorious 4th of July, we've got lots of water. But uh, it's fine. It's, it's not driving rain. But uh, I think it's due to clear as the day goes on. Looking forward to this one. We've climbed up from Crummock Water and you can hear the noise of the, the waterfall and the water in the background and this here is the start of Scale Falls. The highest waterfall in the Lake District is Scale Falls with a single drop of 170 feet with two of those of about 20 feet each. Well, path becomes a bit interesting at times to say it's a path. Hmm, a bit open. So uh, we're climbing up what well, effectively currently is a waterfall and along this small ridge here, still going up the feed for scale falls. Please report. The weather's breaking a bit. Woohoo! What a great stretch of walking this one's been. We're coming up the river, or the brook, the stream, the river, from Scale Force. And it's a uh, bit of interesting walking. You're doing a bit of rock climbing along the way as well. But it's, uh, it's really nice. Not surprising, you've got a great backdrop as well. I'll steady away and uh, just continuing to, to head up the gully here. Really nice walking. Oh, 
Well, we're halfway between Blee Crag and Lingacombe Edge. And what a great vantage point. We've got Buttermere down here, got Lake Buttermere just on the right, hill ahead of us there, which is in the clouds. That is High Snorrig, which is about 526 metres. If we pan round, we can see where the cloud base is. Ahead of us over there, we have Whiteless Pike. So you can see where the, the, uh, the cloud base is. Chromic water below us. As we pan round, we have got Melbrake rigged ahead of us here with chromic water just in the background. We've got a path ahead of us here and uh, that's taking us up to the top of Red Tom, Red Pike rather, sorry. Um, not sure if we're going to get much of a view from the top of Red Pike which is a bit disappointing because if we have a look through the valley here, the view as ever just wonderful. Well hi there everyone, we're on top of Red Pike, 755 metres and we've got a fantastic view of the clouds and the rain but uh, yeah it's going all right, plenty of people up and about, seems to be quite a few people doing uh, DV goals which is great. Okay hopefully the weather's going to break. Cheers. We are about halfway between Red Pike and High Style and as you can see the weather's not too grand at all. Ended up taking a couple of wrong turns initially but uh, we're back on track again. I'd love to show you some of the scenery but the scenery is just grey at the minute. I'm sure it'll break at some point. Well, I'm doing some filming for no other reason than the cloud base has lifted a bit. Just see around there. And if we look across on the other side of the valley, we can actually just see some points in the lakes. Isn't that fantastic? Makes it easier for navigating. Well ahead of us we've got uh, magnificent haystacks, probably see why it's called haystacks but just lots of stacks. So we've got the path, let's see if we can do this, we've got the path which is picking up here, you can walk along haystacks, around the path over here and then we're going to be pulling around behind here, dropping down the valley and then into the valley. So that's where we're heading next. Haystacks ahead of us here, it's completely different to really many of the other mountains around. It's just got its own personality, you know, the mighty haystacks. It's just beautiful. Looking forward to tracking across it and hopefully we're going to get some good, some good views from the top as well. Let's hope the cloud doesn't come back in. The going up, I don't find too bad. So going down off sheer cliffs, which is not as nice. Anyway, onward. Well, for those who follow the channel, you know that I keep turning around and saying, don't forget to look back. It's at times like this where you, you find out how much descending you've actually done before you then climb up once again. We're about off with a pay stack. And we've got Buttermere and then Crummock Water in the background. You still see on top of the uh, mountain over there, still got some low cloud base, but uh, we're okay, which is great. You can appreciate some of the scenery. This is a typical climb up um, Haystacks. So, as you can see, We've got a nice gully 
to climb. So this is reasonably typical ground so far up haystacks. But the view as ever makes it all worthwhile. As we're starting to pull down off haystacks we've got uh, Blackbeth Tarn just ahead of us there and over the background there we've got Fleetwith. Really nice. You can still see the cloud base is pretty low but uh, looks we're going to have a nice descent and heading back down which is great. So we're just starting to come off haystacks which we can see ahead of us here and the, the mountains along the ridge there we've got red tarn etc which we climbed earlier and in the valley here we've got Bottomir with chronic water behind us and if we have a look down we've got a path in the valley which is our path on the way down just the other side of the, the waterfalls there which look really nice so we've got a pull across, drop down to the tarn there and that's our walk back and then we're along the, the shores of Buttermere. Not long to go now. So there's a, a little stream runoff from the uh, from the tarn up here. So it looks as if we're going to have to uh, use some stepping stones. Let's hope we don't get too wet. So far, so good. Wonderful. And we've just got another set of stairs. Well, as we're walking along here, it's wonderful. Someone's getting very artistic, putting edging along the side of the path. There we go. Who needs gardener's world? Just come into the outdoor world. Well we had waterfalls at the beginning of the walk and we've got waterfalls at the end of the walk. How lucky are we? Well, not too much further now. We are following the path along the side of the mountain here, pretty much centre of the screen. And then we are going to be picking up a path on the left hand side of the lake along the side of Buttermere Lake before we get back to Buttermere itself. And uh, the sun's come out to see us at the end of the day, which is very nice. Well, the tech eventually gave up on the way back down. Didn't realise that the walk had been so taxing. <clears throat> we had some challenging conditions on the peaks, just showing us that we need to really, really prepare. If you've got this far, why not subscribe? There are many other walks for you to enjoy on the channel, so bye for now.